transition shortly, uh, gentlemen. But for now, though, Kisumu Governor Anyang Nyongo is uh, currently holding, I understand, a security meeting and urging demonstrators in Kisumu to conduct demonstrations as envisaged in the law. He says peaceful demos will be allowed in the county and uh, he's going to be speaking uh, to a number of security chiefs. Let's just listen in to part of what he had to say. We shall continue our demonstrations from 9 to 1 o'clock every day, during which time the demonstration have been peaceful, but those who, after the demonstration, go out of their way to cause mayhem, the security forces to take care of this, because those are now criminals or thugs. But they should not be shot, because nobody allows you to take the life of another one, except in a court of law when somebody is condemned to die because of a, a criminal act. So that one, we say, must stop for two. Fifthly, which is very important, we have just done, is to set up a joint team, uh, what you call um, a steering committee, to review these matters from time to time so that we don't wait until it's too late. And sixthly, which is very important, is that our people, our people resident in Kisumu, and in Kisumu County, we must realize that this is our responsibility to make sure that there's peace and security in this city. We would like to tell our youths that blood, blocking roads from 6 in the morning when we have demonstrations does not add an iota to the message we are sending to the IBC. It only obstructs movement of people going to work or sometimes somebody taking somebody to hospital on an emergency basis. Now, those are very critical because somebody can die at such a roadblock just trying to negotiate their way out. But also it sends a very bad message about Kisumu, that in Kisumu you can be stopped on a road anywhere and pay somebody money to pass. It's a very, very bad signal for Kisumu. So we are, in, we are asking our community leaders, our people in the town, in Wakali and so on, please, 